Osnovni namen največjega swing dogodka v organizaciji plesne skupine Sales and His Swing Kids ter društva za ohranjanje in razvoj swing in rokabili kulture je širši publiki predstaviti in približati swing. Program festivala je bil predvsem obogaten z brezplačnimi plesnimi delavnicami pod vodstvom svetovno priznanih inštruktorjev swinga. How did you fall in love in swing? Me first? Yes. Basically, basically the music, going to a jazz club and hearing the music and seeing some dancers dance really nicely to it. That's what the main thing. But mainly through the music, the jazz music of the 30s and 40s. For, for yeah, me too. Those, I was inspired by uh, the music, but also from looking at the old movies. The uh, some of the old film clips I watched uh, from the 1930s, and that really inspired me. I wanted to do the same thing and learn how they did that. The sponsor of the 26. March 1926 was in New York. Do leta 1936 še danes najbolj popularna zvrst swing plesa Lindy Hop osvoji celotno ZDA. Swing kot ples zaznamuje preplet enega ali več plesov swing dobe, kot so Lindy Hop, Charleston, Shack, Balboa in Blues. Tehnično je ples starejši od swing glasbe in se ga navadno povezuje z Dixielandom, vrsto jazz glasbe, ki se je razvila v New Orleansu na jugu ZDA. I teach lots of different swing dances and dances even before the swing era. So we taught something today called Peabody that comes from the turn of the century. And then you go through Charleston, which is more the early 20s, and then into Lindy Hop and Balboa in the mid 20s, uh, in the 30s, sorry, and into the 40s. And we're also teaching something called Lamanu that's kind of 40s and 50s. What everybody's going to do in the square now is a, a Charleston, and Charleston reached its height in about 1922, 1923, and it was a big dance craze across all of America. So everybody knew the Charleston at that time. Everybody would have known how to do it. And it spread to Europe too. It was a fashion and it came in and it was so popular and then it went, it finished. Uh -huh. So it didn't last a very long time, it changed into Lindy Hop. Swing, ki se je začel razvijati v Ameriki, ne, s pojavom plesne dvorane Savoy, um, se je razvil v mnoge zvrsti, zaradi tega, ker um, tudi v različnih delih Amerike se je dragač pleso. Na vzhodnji obali pa na zahodnji obali so bile razlike, vsak je predal nekaj svojega noter zraven in potem je iz to nekako iz skupnega korena zrastal na eno veliko skupino plesov, ki jih danes pač skupnim imenom imenujemo Swing. Družina Swing plesa je bogata in odlična mešanica afroameriške in angloameriške skupnosti. V Slovenijo ga je pripeljal New Yorkčan Sels Šinkovec po materini strani slovenec, ki je pred nekaj leti prišel v Ljubljano in svojo ljubezen do svinga začel deliti z drugimi. Plesni učitelj in izkušen koreograf svinga je tudi idejni vodja podiranja največjega Charleston kroga. Hvala bi se vse vsega, ki je tudi 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 Trenutni rekord je namreč 150 ljudi, ki v krogu plešajo isto koreografijo plesa Charleston. Odločilna ura se je bližala, a za magično število je še vedno primankovalo plesalcev. Besede so naredile svoje in tako nas je 224 v krogu zaplesalo ta skoraj stoletni ples. Če bomo uspeli, pa moramo počakati na uradno potrditev. V ta namen so morali organizatorji poiskati tri uradne priče. Imamo direktorja enega izmed lokalov, s katerimi se delujemo, potem imamo člana slovenske estrade, pa uradnega fotografa, tako da nekako smo to zaveli in potem ti preverijo zadevo, se podpišajo in potem se ta prijava pošne naprej, za pač da odobrijo ali da ali ne. Danes je v Sloveniji okoli tisoč svingerjev. Družijo in zabavajo se vsak torek v pijano baru. Če boste prišli kakšno urico pre zgodaj, vas bodo z veseljem naučili osnovnih plesnih korakov. Vabljeni nazaj v prihodnost.